Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a viewer cast. In the top left hand corner, in the red, representing Clan Kuil, it is Kamachi. That is an adorable zergling with a football. American football. America. In the bottom right hand corner, in the blue, representing Ire, it is Funky Junkie. The map is Acid Plant. I always enjoy these areas, like watching it on a GSL, because there's a lot more going on. It's a lot more clear, but apparently this is acid. It's just like heaps of acid just constantly pouring out of this area. It's like, what are you doing with all this acid? And why is it not corroding the stuff around it? Maybe it's like weak acid. I don't know. But to start things off, we've got a nice and beautiful 17 hatch, and then the sneaky little happy probe just built a pylon on Kamachi's side of the map, even pretty close to this hatchery. There's no indication of this yet. This overlord isn't gonna spot it. It's just out of view. This overlord's crossing the map too. It's lovely. Yeah, this is the new drone skin from the war chest supposed to be like robot zerg mechanical zerg oh my goodness gracious the drone has scouted this proxy advanced a double photon cannon assault drone goes takes a different base aha will you cannon rush this base as well silly probe there's an interesting dynamic here because this cannon and this cannon actually aren't able to kill the hatch which is, that's interesting, isn't it? Because these are here, like, they exist. You can't argue about whether or not these exist. I mean, you could, but that would be a fruitless endeavor. They, in my opinion, they exist. But what are they for? What do they do? They're just hovering right now. You see this little sphere above this area? There's a cool little design there. So these cannons right now are support defense of this cannon right here. Uh, or maybe not. Okay, so these cannons here would be in case... Yeah, look, look! It's shooting that drone! See, now it's all paying off. And there's a photon cannon over here. Okay. This cannon has one kill so far. <clears throat> this, look at this, wow. This is an amazing opening build order. So you go pylon, cannon, cannon, pylon, cannon, 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 cannon. Gateway. I like that this cannon is in front of the, the gateway and the forge. That tells me that this is a Protoss player who is not afraid. They aren't afraid of, like, being attacked. Well, they're a little bit afraid. Like, they're afraid enough that they want to build a cannon, but not afraid enough to put the cannon over here, where it's defended by these structures here. So that's a really interesting stylistic preference here. This is a very stylistic Protoss opening. <clears throat> so there are Zerglings here. This cannon is just chipping away at this base. Just one shot after another. The hatchery is bleeding out. I don't know if Kamachi is going to be able to rescue this expansion. Can the broodlings kill a cannon? I don't think they can. No. They got quite a bit of the health off of it. Oh, but these lings will finish it off. Nice move. Okay, so there's ling speed lair, roach warren. And now, at a nice crisp time of 4 minutes and 24 seconds, we're going to take an expansion. Great job. Stalker here trying to shoo away the overlords. This pylon, or this, uh, <clears throat> this photon cannon is kind of like a relic of the days when you could do a hashtag overlord drop. And I think this is like doing this for old time's sake, you know? Because Zerg needs a lair to do that. 
and the Stalker can deny stuff flying into the base. But th these two cannons are kind of like saying, hey, do you remember that time when Zerg could just get hatched in an Evo chamber and then just drop the main super early? These two cannons are just, they're like remnants of that, that period in Legacy of the Void's history. I think that's really refreshing when people do stuff like that. It's like, I'm not doing this because it's good. I'm doing this because it was good in a day that is now past. Okay, there's a Nidus doing something. Where is it going? Where is it? All right, all of the action is culminating in this particular area. This little corner of the main base. And now the pile or the photon cannons are gonna pay off here. Look at this. All right, the stalker's gonna start putting some DPS on these units. Let's see if it can hold off this pressure. Uh oh. The stalker died. Void Ray, using its super beam, kills the Nidus network, and then tries to float away gracefully through the air. These roaches, firing upon their photon cannons. There's something really awesome about queens dealing damage to ground units. It's kind of like noticing that they aren't really dealing much damage, but they're really trying. And that that's really good to see. It's good that they try. They really put the effort in. Oh no, transfuse. Oh no, the queen is alone. Her sister died. It's pretty impressive how little damage they do to the cocoons. And there's another Nidus network. Roaches coming out here. Ravager goes in. Roaches go in. Ravagers, roaches go in. Roaches go out. And then it dies. Okay. It looks like the Protoss built another pylon here to do a cannon rush. But unfortunately, hatcheries spread creep. And this one is done. So this is just granting the Protoss a little bit of extra supply at the moment. A little bit of supply. Okay, these cannons are gonna try and kill some roaches. Oh, oh that didn't work. <clears throat> Alright. There's a creep tumor here in the main base. The queens may have died, but their memory lives on through these creep tumors in the Protoss main base. So Protoss is making double Stargate Void Ray. That's double, not just single Stargate Void Ray. And I don't know how many of you know about Void Rays, but they're pretty good against roaches. So this queen is ready to do anything. Looks like she's going to inject. But we already have larva. What about a creep tumor? Anyways. There's a Hydra Den. That's good. Hydras are good against um, much of McCollum's. Void Rays. These roach ravagers are going to go do a frontal attack but the cannons are on the front side but they're also on the back side oh no the shield battery pylon is on the back side okay this is interesting uh, building placement i haven't seen this before so this is like a new style of building placement looks like the void rays are gonna use their super beams on this layer tech and the layer is killed here and now they're gonna go for the nidus network but it's a base race, kind of, because the roaches are fighting against this, um, this forward advanced quadruple photon cannon shield battery wall off. Well, it's not a wall off, but it's like putting stuff there that, like, it's mostly a wall. That's cool. I wonder if this larva is gonna get used for some stuff. Because the creep is going to recede and they just, they die if they don't have creep beneath them. It's very tragic. Void rays and um, queens. They have a potential. There's like dramatic tension building here. Okay, these queens are focus firing the low void ray. That's good. One void ray falls. But these queens are in distress. They're in trouble. They're in trouble. Hydra's coming out. Hydra's here. Oh, but their super beam ran out. Now it's just a regular beam. Hydra's are getting these void rays. Uh-oh. 
The void rays are being cleaned up. Wow. This Protoss really had to focus on that void ray. Instead of spending their money and taking a base or another Stargate or an upgrade on the Cybernetics Core. But anyways... Yeah, these drones have to distance mine, but this natural expansion is, uh, it's making some money. And then there's another base here. Okay. So yeah, this is a playable situation. I mean, it's tough, but you still have some stuff. There's some gases. These hydras are here. There's creep in the main that could supply creep to these buildings. And there's still creep in the Protoss' main base. And there are two cannons here. And cannons here. And Lings are looking for the third base location. <laughs> but the joke's on the... Oh, no, there is a third base. Look at this. Look at this probe. Building a third base. And some people might be asking, Vero, when's a normal time for Protoss to take a third base? Well, this is pretty normal. What is this, 11 minutes and 40 seconds? That's fair. Okay. This base is up. I think it's kind of confusing to call bases second or third bases at this point, just because of how many bases have been killed and retaken. But Zerg has bases. That's what counts. And Protoss has bases too. But the problem is this main base is running out of minerals to harvest. Oh my goodness. It's a surprise giraffe transition. It looks like Funky is going to go for a double robotics facility, double chrono boosted, double giraffe production. So it's going to be void rays and giraffes. Astounding. So this base is being droned up. These Evo Chambers, taking plus one range and plus one carapace, getting some 1-1. One, one. And the Creep Tumor did supply some Creep to these, so these buildings aren't going to die until the Void Rays come kill them. Third base is up for Protoss. Wow, look at this beautiful formation of Photon Cannons. <clears throat> so Funky is going for like a non-Gateway unit style, just making the Robo and the Stargate units. Which I think is pretty airtight, right? It's just bulletproof. What can Zerg do? Because the Void Rays beat the Roaches. And the Giraffes beat the... Hydralisks. And the Disruptors... Oh, those are just really hard to control. Okay. You have to be M canning to use those, I guess. Okay, so it's, it's just two of those, and then we're going to go back to Giraffes. There's a fleet beacon here. There's a Hydra attack. Looks like the Protoss is kind of trapped in their base. Oh no, they're going to chase the Hydras. The Hydras are running. It's a Void Raid Giraffe attack. Run. So Zerg has 56 drones and Protoss has 48 probes. But the 48 probes aren't mining efficiently, right? Because the main and natural are kind of mined out. Wow, look at this kind of surround thing. Yeah, the Hydras focus down those um, guys. But now they're still void rays, so this is a problem for the bugs. Oh no, are they going to kill the tech again? There is a base over here, which is something to account for. The queens are running transfuse. Oh no. All right. Hydras taking out a void ray. Defending the base. Yeah, look at this beautiful detective cannons. This is this is seven cannons for the third base with three shield batteries and no gas mining. Like for this setup, it's like is this sufficient? Well, I don't know about that, but it is unique. So I would give this uh, Protoss full marks for having a unique base layout. See, look at that. You can't attack there. You can't attack there with Hydra Ling. There are too many de detective cannons. It's just way too many. Okay, fourth base. The Hydra Ling trying to deny this. But that's a lot of giraffes. Any way you spin it. Seven is a lot. Usually people get like four. 
or five. If you have five with plus three ground attack, that's really good. Ooh, look, carriers. So it was mass offense cannon attack into mass void ray, into mass giraffe, into carriers. What an elegant approach. Okay, it's Corruptors and Hydras. But they're focusing the base instead of the army! That was a huge mistake. Why would you do that? Their army just beats the Zerg. Wow. Yep, sometimes... It's not that often, but sometimes you were just playing perfectly up until one really bad decision. You might say that about this Protoss. It was just one great decision after another, and then whoops. The Zerg A moved, and now we're dead. Crap. Man. That's gotta be frustrating. Funky Junkie. Just down on his luck. He's defeated. Kamachi wins. What a struggle. Storms would have helped a lot? Really? I think there was no shortage of AoE. I'm pretty sure the Protoss would have won the engagement if they just attack moved.